In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to everyone joining us at home for Mass, hoping you're all well. I'm offering this Mass for Rosemary Rankin. Today we're gathering to give thanks for the year that we've spent together at Holy Name School. And some of the time when we gather to look back, we see that there are things that maybe we wish we had done differently. So at the beginning of celebration, to get those out of, way, out of the way, we spend a moment to say sorry to Jesus for the mistakes that we have made. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this school year, for the things we have learned, and for the friends we have made. Help us to enjoy our holiday, and to bring your love to those we shall meet. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Now, our first reading is going to be read for us by Eve. A reading from the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in your richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in the word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God. Whatever your task, put yourselves into it as done for the Lord, since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now Miley is going to lead us in our responsorial psalm. Responsorial Psalm. Response is, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to all the world, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Response. We, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Response. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Response. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. And now Evie is going to lead us in our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. Okay. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Jesus knew that having a rest was important. His apostles worked hard and Jesus made sure they rested as well. Jesus went around all the villages near Nazareth. He told everyone the good news from God. Then he called the twelve together and sent them out in twos so that they could do the same. When they came back, they wanted to tell Jesus about the things they had said and done. But Jesus said, you haven't even had time to eat. Let's go away to a quiet place by ourselves and have a rest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, earlier today, I was thinking about what I wanted to say thank you for at the end of this year. And I was starting to think, and then I thought of one thing, and then I thought of another thing, and then I thought of lots of things. And that's why it's really good to think of something to say thank you for. So just for a minute now, I want you to think of something that's happened during this year that you'd like to say thank you for. And if you can think of, of anything, put your hand up and then you can tell me what you'd like to say thank you for. Okay, yes, what's your name? You're going to have to say with a big voice because otherwise I'm not going to hear you. Avea, is she your friend? What? Oh, she's saying thank you. Sorry, you're going to have to help me out. Oh, that's all oh, right. That's your name of it. So, what do you want to say thank you for? Having nice teachers, great. And yes, will you help me, Miss? Okay, thank you. Oh, lovely. So you've learned a lot during this year, have you? So she said thank you for having lovely teachers. Don't know how much the teachers have paid for this, but anyway, there we go. I can't. Miss, you're sat next to him. Can you tell him? Can you tell me what you said? Big voice, Miss. Kindness of friends. Okay, what else? Anything else? We'll just have one more. Because it's hard to do this when it's being filmed on the iPad as well. Gone shy. for being in school, okay, because how many of you miss it when you're at home? Oh dear. <laughs> well, maybe some, today's probably not the best day to ask, actually, at the end of the holidays when you're bored and you want to come back in school and see your friends and everything. I think one of the things we realise when we start to say thank you, that there isn't just one thing we wanted to say thank you for, because while I was brushing my teeth, I was thinking about what I might say, and I thought, well, I'm grateful for that. But well, then I'm grateful for that too, and I'm grateful for that too. So I want to just say thank you to everybody in the Holy Name School community for all that they have done to help me over the past year. So thank you very much. Okay, and we're going to have our bidding prayers now, and they're going to be read for us by a member of each year group. So they're going to be Alou, Luca, Maria, Philip, Stanislava, and Anthony. children in our school. We give thanks for the joy they bring. May they continue to grow in understanding of love for you, for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That's right. I don't know if you take your shoes and get my hand. Okay? There we go. Oops, careful. God our Father, thank you for all, all the teachers who work to make our school a safe, happy and caring place in which to learn. We give thanks for their guidance and support. Lord, hear us. 
Lord graciously hears me. God, our Father, you give us our parents and carers to love us, love and care for us. Through them, we come to know how much you love and care for us. Bless them always and keep them close in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, we ask you to bless Father John, who visited our school during the year. We give thanks for the many ways in which we helped all of us to come to know you. Bless him and his priestly work in the parish. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, we ask you to bless our year six children as they leave our school. May they always value the gifts of friendship, care and companionship. May they always be sensitive to the others, to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For friendship between nations, for peace and justice in our own country, and that developed countries may not abuse the poverty of other nations. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and grant these our prayers, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Please remain seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father, as your spirit changes this bread and wine into your son's body and blood, may he fill our hearts with thanks for all you have done for us this year. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God our Father, you have brought us here together so that we can give you thanks and praise for all the wonderful things you have done. We thank you for all that is beautiful in the world and for the happiness you have given us. We praise you for daylight and for your word which lights up our minds. We praise you for the earth and all the people who live on it and for our life which comes from you. We know that you are good. You love us and do great things for us. Father, you are always thinking about your people. You never forget us. You sent your son, Jesus, who gave his life for us and who came to save us. He cured sick people. He cared for those who were poor and wept with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and taught us to forgive each other. He loved everyone and showed us how to be kind. He took children in his arms and blessed them. God our Father, all over the world your people praise you. So now we pray with the whole church, with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop. In heaven the blessed Virgin Mary, bless Joseph her husband, the apostles and all the saints always sing your praise. Now we join with them and with the angels to adore you as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
God our Father, you are most holy, and we want to show you that we are grateful. We bring you bread and wine and ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of Jesus, your Son, then we can offer to you what you have given to us. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took bread from the table. He gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. We do now what Jesus told us to do. We remember his death and resurrection and we offer you, Father, the bread that gives us life and the cup that saves us. Jesus brings us to you. Welcome us as you welcome him. Father, because you love us, you invite us to come to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children. We ask you to take care of those we love and we pray for those who have died. Remember everyone who is suffering from pain or sorrow. Remember Christians everywhere and all other people in the world. We are filled with wonder and praise when we see what you do for us through Jesus, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So if you're a member of year four, five, and six, and you haven't made your first Holy Communion, <coughs> excuse me, I will give you a blessing at the end, so please remain in your seats. For the children who have made their first Communion, please remember to come forward, one hand on top of the other, use your free hand to put the host into your mouth, and only then move away. Thank you. Mrs. Radford and Mrs. Hughes are going to stand here because there's members of staff who will supervise the children coming forward and then Brian and Mary are going to go halfway down and come on supervise them.
Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you for the closeness of your Son Jesus to us in this Mass. We want to be with him always, when we work and when we rest, when we were at school and when on holiday. May we use some of our holiday to get to know you better, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. Bye, God bless.